The primary election is just a couple of weeks away, and voters will decide a number of candidates, including those running for U.S. Senate and also governor. Independent voters, though, will have to sit back and watch. Fox 43's Harry Lee has more on a new push to change that rule. The primaries are coming up. But 1.3 million registered Pennsylvania voters aren't allowed ballots because they're not registered Democrat or Republican. Well, it's not fair. We all pay for primary elections, including those who don't get to vote. And that feels like the definition of taxation without representation. Pennsylvania is one of only nine states with closed primaries, meaning only registered Democrats can vote in the Democratic primary and only registered Republicans can vote in the Republican primary. And the idea behind closed primaries is that um, a primary is really the party's business. It's the party determining uh, who its nominees will be. The thinking is that people outside the party could purposely choose a bad candidate. That thinking, though, is changing. It's a pretty powerful argument to say, let's not shut somebody out of the out of the system, right? Let's not shut somebody out of the process. Civic groups like Ballot PA have campaigned to open Pennsylvania primaries. It could soon be a reality, thanks to new legislation. Independents tend to vote for the candidate instead of the party. Uh, and I think that would produce better candidates for in the fall. State Senator Dan Laughlin is co-sponsoring a bill that would allow independent voters to vote in either, but not both, of the party's primaries. Which is a good first step, but us independents see it as a first step to um, the, the motherland of having an election system that fully decouples voting rights from party affiliation. The bill wouldn't pass in time for this year's primary, but it could have a major impact on the presidential primary election happening in 2024. Harry Lee, Fox 43 News.